evidence and we have some more breaking inputs coming in on this story on the Shraddha murder case. We are now learning that Aftar Poonawala will be in court at 4 p.m. whether or not he will be in court in person or whether that will be conducted via video conferencing is something uh, which we will quickly go across to Anvit uh, for more details. Anvit, can you bring us the latest details? What are you learning? Whether uh, Aftab will be brought to court or whether will this be a video conferencing session? See, I think the police teams were here in the court and the court has allowed video conferencing and he, the accused Aftab will be uh, produced via video conferencing at 4 p.m. now at Sakhiyat Court. The courtroom number three is where the hearings will take place. Uh, police are uh, pr producing him to demand, uh, you know, his extension of remand. And along with that, uh, they are also demanding uh, a narco test to be conducted. Uh, right now, as, I, as you can hear, there are many slogans being raised by some groups of demanding uh, the accused to be hanged. Mm. Also, uh, the IEO who, who was in the court, he had told the judge that they are demanding VC because there are apprehension that some religious houses and uh, some miscreants may attack the, uh, the accused, the suspect in this case, after uh, and hence uh, they requested that uh, it be allowed that he is produced in the court via video conferencing. After hearing these I think uh, these arguments are so the judge has allowed video counseling and now 4 p.m. has been fixed the time in, uh, when he will the, uh, he will be produced via video conferencing at courtroom number 3 in Saket Court. All right, at courtroom number 3 in Saket Court is where Aftab will be uh, presented via video conferencing. Let's quickly go across to Akash as well who is reporting live on this news story. Akash, if you could also tell us what are you learning from your sources as far as the atmosphere outside the Saket Court is concerned. As you heard, Anvit was pointing out that there is a fear that miscreants and certain religious groups could just be creating a ruckus outside the court and that is perhaps the reason why this has been now shifted to a video conferencing rather than an in-person hearing. In fact, you know, Akanksha, in fact, I'm learning that uh, some lawyers are protesting in uh, Saket court and, uh, you know, they are demanding uh, uh, this uh, uh, person to be hanged. And, you know, uh, I was mentioning this very point a bit earlier as well, that how Delhi police shifted the main accused Aftab from this particular place, uh, this is Meharoli police station, to a different place. And we don't know about that place because police officers are not confirming about this place. This is because of the sensitivity only. And now uh, the judge has, in fact, allowed the video conferencing, conferencing production of the particular accused and also let me tell you that you know there are several groups in fact there are some religious groups who are protesting against uh, this particular incident here in Delhi and All they right. are somewhere demanding Akash, I'm going to uh, request the, uh, you to stay with me because uh, Anshul is currently stationed outside the Saket court right now let's quickly go across to Anshul Anshul if you could uh, take us through what the court scene is right now I believe this is going to be a video uh, conferencing hearing for as far as uh, the Saket court is concerned but what is the atmosphere there right now so yes, definitely there was a lot of anger when it came to the entire case and the integrities of this case when when came out and hence many lawyers since morning has been saying that they would raise objections once Aftab is brought to the courts and also there are few Hindu organizations that are that are actually taking out candlelight marches against the brutal killing of Shraddha and that is the reason why the judge has said that there is a huge presence of media outside the court courtrooms also the number of lawyers that have stood outside the courtrooms there could be something untoward that would happen towards Aftab their anger could come out in front of Aftab and that is the reason why the judge has finally come out and said that he will allow the uh, in, instead of an in-person hearing he's going to allow a virtual a virtual hearing in this entire case and yes the judge is saying that since there is so much traction in and around this case he understands the sense of this case and how difficult it is going to, to be for the police if he is brought here in person then keeping in mind his security it is going to be a very very difficult job for the police to keep him secure in such an environment and that is the reason why the judge says that I, I understand all these uh, all these points and hence I am going to allow Aftab to be present in front of the court through video conferencing. Also the Delhi police is very very apprehensive of the security of Aftab as Akash has been mentioning that he was there at the Meroli police station but now his location is undisclosed because the police is very apprehensive that some Hindu organizations or people who might be angry with the kind of act or the kind of statements that Aftab has given over the past few days they might try to attack him or they might try to 